So, what's going on everybody? Back with another video and today I wanted to tell you guys how it all started. So, might be a little bit of a video, so just sit back, relax, maybe grab a snack and just listen to the story. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, now that you got yourself situated, you got your you got yourself ready for the story. So I wanted to tell you guys just basically how I started. Um, I got into fitness, like just everything. So like two years ago, I was I was always interested in powerlifting, but I had like really no knowledge of like really anything like how to you know perform a squat, bench, and deadlift correctly. Um, just anything like that or where there were meets and so like my senior year of high school my football coach he like told me where some meets were and we signed up myself up for them I competed in my first meet placed second I think at that meet I had a um f like a 265 bench or or I think 265 bench, 405 on squat, and then 500 on deadlift. And that was like my first time ever pulling 500. It was literally the ugliest thing ever. Like, and, it, and it's funny, like I'm gonna put it in right now. First meet, I absolutely fell in love with it. Everyone there was really cool. I made a whole bunch of friends. I just really enjoyed the time. And so I decided to um, compete in a regional meet. Ended up winning the regional meet. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what my numbers were. I think I did like maybe like a 505 deadlift, like a 415 squat, and then like a 275 bench maybe. And then a little bit later, I went to States. Um, so that was my first time at States and I was like super duper nervous for that, but it was, it was a good experience. I ended up placing second in States, but I did get the top deadlift for my class. So I got a little medal for that. Um, so I was happy about that. I actually would have won it but they said I hitched a 545 deadlift, which at the time was like a 25 pound PR, but it was so close. Like I was so close to getting it, but he called it a hitch and like told me to drop it in the middle of like, I was like 95% locked out and he was like, no lift. I was like, why don't you just like, let me try to finish it. It wasn't much of a hitch. And you know, the, I feel like they just wanted to see me lose. Um, but you know, whatever. And that was sort of how I got into powerlifting. Um, and sort of that transitioned with like after around a little bit before my first meet, I'd say was when me and Lex really started hanging out. And then he sort of helped me get on a better program. Um, he helped some like correct a lot of my form, especially on the deadlift. Um, so if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be as strong as I am today. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, and he sort of sh showed me, like, the social media part of it and, like, taught me, like, and I just kind of learned from what he was doing and, you know, just conversations and stuff like that. And it was sort of something I kind of wanted to start to do. And then I started posting on Instagram, I think, like probably around two years ago now as well. Like right after my first powerlifting meet, I believe is when I started like posting um, videos on Instagram. 
and pictures as well, like of fitness and stuff. And I had like 2,400 follow followers at the time. And now I think we're at like 37 points something thousand right now. I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. And only, you know, a little bit of time, I got a whole bunch of support. And we have like 3,333 subscribers on the YouTube. I remember it because it's just 3333. Um, so that's pretty hype. Um, and just uh, like throughout that time, um, like hanging out with Lex and just like posting on social media, I just ended up falling in love with just powerlifting, bodybuilding, just um, kind of making myself look better. So around like a year ago, uh, probably a year and a half, honestly, because it was like maybe like a few months in uh, when me and Lex first started hanging out, he was like, Joe, I wonder what you would look like if you were, if you cut. And I've never, ever cut in my life before. So I was like, huh, I don't know. I was like 205 at the time. You know, I was pretty big, but I had quite a bit of fat on me. Um, and so I was like, why not? So I like went super hard on the meal um, plans and started tracking my calories. I had about 2000 calories a day for like a few months. And then I got down to like one, I think 190 was, or like 189 um, was like the lowest I got to. And I was like, whoa, I look crazy. You know, I think I'm just, excuse me, gonna stop the cut here. And so I sort of stayed around 190 to 193 for a few months. And then just like probably a few months ago, I was like, hmm, I wonder what I'd look like if I cut even more. So decided to do that again, stuck with around 2000 calories. Um, and now I am down to like 179 ish. I don't know, I haven't weighed myself in a few days so I could be a little bit less or I could be a little bit more. I don't know. But yeah, that's basically most of it all sort of, you know, jumbled around. I just go from topic to topic because that's just how I am, so.
With that said, I hope you enjoyed this little story time and if you didn't, then just let me know and I won't do this again. But, anyways, 
Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.